what does all this mean for the wider conflict in Yemen? I mean, I, I just think that all of this back and forth is a sign that we're nowhere near to some sort of conclusion to the conflict. At, at the beginning, we were very concerned about the conflict with the Houthis, uh, but the conflict has become internationalized with the Saudis involved, and now the United Arab Emirates have got involved. Uh, and then, of course, other Western actors have been supporting different sides, and Iran allegedly is uh, supporting the Houthis. And we see when these conflicts become internationalized, they just go longer, they become much more deadly, and we don't see any end in sight. Now, of course, Mr. Hadi is claiming, uh, the government of Yemen is claiming that they've retaken Aden. Um, and some other key cities. But you still have the Southern Transitional Council uh, negating this, uh, claiming that they haven't taken as much as uh, the Mr. Hadi has claimed. And also, it, they don't feel ready to get to the negotiating table. Uh, they're still very, very upset about the fact that they don't have greater control, greater autonomy, and they're really not anywhere close to being on the same page about finding some sort of resolution uh, to the conflict. And the thing is, is that this is complicated by the fact that both of these groups were supposed to be sort of on the same side fighting against the Houthis, which have uh, been able to take over key, key parts of North Yemen. And of course, stuck in the middle or in every part of this conflict, of course, are the civilians, the millions of people struggling to survive. Exactly. I mean, it's a country where 80 percent of the uh, Yemeni citizens are in need of humanitarian aid. It's considered to be one of the worst humanitarian crises. Uh, and we're not going to be able to to feed people, to deal with the famine, to deal with the disease, the cholera, all kinds of different ailments that are affecting people, that the 45 percent of the hospitals aren't functioning. Uh, we can't deal with any of this until there's some sort of ceasefire, but it's almost impossible to get to a ceasefire because just as we start to think that we've made some sort of trust building measures taking place between the Houthis and the Yemeni government, then we start to see a big split between uh, the, the Southern uh, Council and the Southern Transitional Council and the Yemeni government. And so we see as these wars get split into all these different factions, um, and you know, as I already mentioned, it's it, it has not helped at all that we see foreign actors in the region getting involved in this way. We are very, very far from resolving the crisis, but more importantly, from dealing with the dire humanitarian situation in Yemen. Because until we get a ceasefire, it becomes much more difficult. Uh, to feed people. And we're seeing that in North Yemen, where it was a massive humanitarian crisis, we're seeing similar conditions in South Yemen.